mainstream approach to perfectionism right now is to tell perfectionists some version of just don't be so much of a perfectionist. And the subtext of that directive is just be less of who you are. And that doesn't work. It doesn't work for a lot of reasons, but mostly because perfectionism is a natural, innate human impulse. And I think it's present in everybody. People who are perfectionists experience that impulse more often than not and in a patterned way. So the difference between um, someone who's a perfectionist and someone who's not is just degree and frequency, really, of this universal impulse we all feel, which is the way I describe perfectionism. It's noticing the difference, the gap between the reality and some kind of different version of reality, a reality in which is perhaps improved or better. Um, it's a unique cognitive capacity of our species that we can perceive what's happening around us, but also imagine things in a worse off way and imagine things in a better way. And perfectionists are people who notice that gap between the reality and the ideal and who feel this real compulsion and real active quality to try and bridge the gap. And perfectionism can be healthy and it can be unhealthy. And healthy perfectionists understand that the ideal is not meant to be achieved, it's meant to inspire. And unhealthy perfectionists can sometimes lose sight of that. 